Hello, party people. It is Will Pamble. It's Saturday. It's a very quiet weekend here at the house, I am happy to say. So, I figured I'd do a couple of things. What I figured I would do, first of all, is I wanted to show you some of the bits and pieces of the kind of next version of the chain lift. I want to get it to work better and look cooler and feel better and smoother and more reliable. Not that it isn't pretty freaking reliable already. Um, and then, uh, as much as I can, just answer some of your questions. Oh my gosh, look at all the great people. Jamie Sutton, Spigoy, Zach, Evan Cobra, yes, Jack, Matthew, Dr. Flops, Chris Otto. Thank you, Chris. Chris writes, nice project. I'm good, Jamie Sutton. Thank you for asking. Keep doing more projects. I know, right? I got a lot more projects to do. Uh, let me show you some stuff here. Hang on a second. Let me flip this camera around here. Whoop. Okay. So, right now what we got here is we just got our awesome number 50 roller chain, double pitch roller chain that sits in this one and a quarter inch wide tray here. And so what I'm thinking I'll do is to keep things a little bit fancier, I just got a couple of pieces of this uh, half inch angle iron, eighth inch thick by half inch. I just went to the hardware store and got a couple of pieces of it. What I'm thinking of doing, let me let me switch hands here. Hang on. Oh. Okay. What I'm thinking of doing is taking this angle iron and welding it in place so that it sits thusly, right? You see what we got? Now imagine one on the other side, or maybe I can put one on the other side and then you don't have to imagine it. Hang on. Oh. Man, that's the thing about a greasy chain is it's greasy. All right, you'll have to imagine the other side. Um, but I'm gonna take this piece, put it in here, and I'm gonna build a little box. That's, that's a half inch angle iron there. And then what we'll end up with is we'll end up with a quarter inch little slot right in the middle, and that's where our chain dog will fit through. Make sure the chain isn't on when you weld it. Thank you. I will try to do that. And uh, oh, look, Liz is here to help. Cool. All right, hang on a second. All right. Okay. Thank you, sweetie. All right, Liz is going to be our cameraman. So, this piece and this piece go together. And then, so here's where we end up with. We end up with a channel and we can, I'll build a little jig so that it all fits in so that, so that we have a nice maybe our chain dog is one quarter of an inch thick. So I'm gonna make this a 3 16 inch thick channel right here. So the chain dog will, f will just fall down right between these two pieces of angle iron, which will weld in place really, really strong. The chain dog will fit right down in there. And then everything is gonna be like super precise, super tight, and that's gonna be awesome. So that was I was just uh, I was just driving past the hardware store. I have a hard time driving past the hardware store. I just I gotta stop. So I stopped there today and I got these two pieces of angle iron because I've been thinking about this um, to really improve the chain lift and make it look much more professional, make it much safer, much better, and better. And it's something to do. I love a project. On this side, next to this, this is our Annie Rollback. I've got a whole nother set of ideas for the Annie Rollback uh, system because what I really want out of the Annie Rollback system is I want that tink, 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 tink. I really want that roller coaster lift hill sound, and I don't feel like I'm getting it from the current system. The current system is perfectly safe. It does exactly what it's supposed to do, and I hope we never need to use it at all but I still want it to sound great. I still want the teeth and the clink, 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 clink. So I'm thinking about the best way to do that. I'd love to know, uh, I'd love to know what you guys think in terms of how we should build the anti rollback system. And what do you think of the chain lift system? I guess those are the kind of the two questions. What, what should we do? This is as much your project as it is mine. So make suggestions, give me feedback. What do you think of this idea? The two little half inch angle iron ideas. And then also, what kind of suggestions, what do you think we should do to build an amazing anti-rollback system 
that is going to thrill the rider as they go up because the anti rollback system that is the sound of a roller coaster it's the clink 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 that that sound so how can we do that just like better than anybody you're right. getting a lot of questions you might want to answer okay. some of your questions here you go right, hang on hang Ooh. on greasy hands greasy hands Look. here you go Ew. <laughs> All right, hang on. Let me flip the camera around here. Whoop! There I am. <sighs> what coaster type are you gonna make next? Um, what coaster type am I gonna make next? Do I design it in CAD? No, I don't design any CAD. But tomorrow, speaking, uh, Andy Levine, answer to answer your question. Tomorrow, the Code Master is gonna come over to the house tomorrow afternoon around three o'clock Pacific time, and I'm gonna see if we can talk him into going live. And because he is going to build this whole coaster in No Limits 2, the whole coaster. So, uh, so that should be awesome. May I suggest adding a tunnel somewhere? I wanted to add a tunnel kind of right up there. I was thinking of a tunnel right up there. And then another suggestion I got on, uh, uh, from you guys was a tunnel with Christmas lights down the dive there, down that, that crazy dive. Um, that would be fantastic. Would be uh, would be Christmas lights or some kind of lights that go over. So I'm thinking about something like that. You should add an inversion. We're thinking about Heartline Roll. Uh, is the fire effect still there? No, the fire effect has been put away. You want to see the bits and pieces of the fire machine? I'll show you what that's made of. Let's walk over here to the house and I'll I'll show you the bits and pieces of the fire machine. Um, it's really silly, but uh, so, so here's. Here's what the fire machine is made of. It's a uh, smarts, arts, cats. The fire machine is made of a propane tank that I took the valves off of and, and emptied and filled with water to get all the propane out. Thank you, Chris Otto, you also are the best. Here is a solenoid valve, and so when you put 12 volts of power to this, it opens. So it's normally closed, and then you put power to it and it opens. This we use, This is just a little, a little valve that we use our trusty air compressor. And so this tank gets filled with air. And then this is called a Sabo connector with our solenoid valve. It connects to this awesome three quarter inch or maybe one inch diameter hose, which goes to our, our cannon. And you can shoot anything out of here. We put ping pong balls in it. What I do is I put a little piece of paper here and then we fill it with, believe it or not, non-dairy creamer. Uh, Thorpe Parks Fire Truck Fire Effect. Um, so then we push the button and it goes poof. And so that's where that big, uh, I'm, I'm, intentionally, I'm intentionally not telling you a whole lot about the fireball machine because I do not want anybody to build one. Um, you know, I was trained in how to build one by a professional movie special effects person and I was trained in how to operate one and uh, and so I don't want people to build stuff that's just like outside their capability I don't want you to I don't want you to be unsafe uh, I do I am aware of the thing Alton Tower so Zach Demo Will is there any way I can maybe ride it sometime in the future we're trying to figure out ways for people to ride it but it's a really it's a really tough one because it's not a high volume ride right it's a it's a homemade thing it's not made for hundreds and hundreds of cycles as they say next coaster giga hybrid wacky worm with a launch and two tunnels <laughs> ryan that would be that would be awesome uh let's see king's island alex xd says a dive coaster would be super complex to build yep uh make a suspended coaster uh, Jamie Gibson, I have been, I've had the make a suspended coaster suggestion a few times. Um, all of the suspended coasters I've seen have ended up being um, really kind of a, uh, a, they haven't gone well because it's so, uh, it's so kooky. Um, and, uh, and so that's been kind of the, that's been kind of the problem of that so anyway <sighs> well thank you Ian Smith Ian writes you're such an amazing guy thanks Ian you are also amazing I appreciate that okay guys uh, I wanted to Luke a couple of people have ridden it uh, have I done something better than this roller coaster uh, yeah but not on YouTube um, let's see how do you bend the track? We bend the track with 
Oh, I'll show you how I bend the track. Here's how we bend the track. Over here is my kooky, my kooky pipe bender. So we took a, there's a video about this on the channel, you can find it. We took this uh, regular old Harbor Freight tubing bender and then we, we added a hydraulic jack to it so we could bend things really quickly. This is an electric, a portable electric pipe threader which turns things really well. And so we use the portable electric pipe threader attached to there so that we can we have a mechanical tubing bender. So uh, John Elliott and I, my buddy John, who you've seen in a bunch of videos, John has been fantastic and he helped he helped cobble together the tubing bender. Uh, you should try buying a real coaster cart. They're relatively cheap. You know what I'm getting instead of a real coaster cart? Um, I have written Santa Claus a number of times and I really feel good about my chances of getting both a metal lathe and a metal milling machine so that I'm going to be able to machine my own parts instead of just saws and grinders. Uh, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be really, really cool because we're going to start really machining. You look at the wheel assemblies of real roller coaster carts like the Intamin carts. Intamin is my favorite. Uh, RMC, another wonderful company. You look at the, you look at the wheels of roller coasters, the wheel assemblies, they're just awesome and I love them and I want to start building them myself and so I'm, I've got my fingers crossed. I've tried to be really good all year. I've written Santa and I'm hoping that he's going to bring me both a, a metal lathe and a milling machine and that's, uh, and that's going to make it a lot easier to make awesome stuff. Add a second lift. I'm not sure where we would go. We, we start up pretty high. Bizarre squad. Hi Will! He writes, make a stand-up train. You know, Lyle really likes a stand-up train. I am not a big fan because I'm all about the center line, right? Uh, and so, uh, okay, make a dive coaster. Bye, Jamie Sutton. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, guys, look, I'm past my 10 minutes again. See, it happened again. I'm, I try to keep these to 10 minutes, and then I get involved with you guys and goofing around, and I have a lot of fun. Eddie Current Break, Jeffrey, I've got parts for an Eddie Current Break. Uh, we are working on making that come true. Coaster's looking amazing, lots of energy. Yeah, lots and lots of energy. Add lights, I know, we wanna make lights. Have you ever done a roller coaster that has multiple carts together? No, but that's, uh, that's on the list. There is no video of it, but my little friend Owen came over, uh, uh, the kid of, of some friends of ours. Owen is a wonderful guy. He's like, uh, let's see, Owen is, I don't know, let's see, Owen comes up to about, he's about 40 inches tall, a little teeny, three or four year old kid he rode the whole coaster this morning and it was absolutely amazing um we didn't get video of it because we don't want owen's uh we don't want owen's uh grandparents to freak out too much but hopefully we can get a video of owen riding the coaster or some other little guy he was awesome he rode it four times he would not get off the thing and so that was that was great so uh but that got me thinking when owen rode it it got me thinking it'd be really cool if we had um if we had a train that would hold two passengers so one in front of the other and that would that's so anyway with the metal milling and machinery machine shop stuff that's going to be a possibility so um okay that is all we have time for today i'm going to give you another look at the awesome roller coaster without having to stare at me look there's the og coaster and the new one that's kind of cool and i just want to thank you guys again it is so much fun. Gamer Ghost, there you are. All right. Thank you guys for helping me bring physics, family, and fun to kids everywhere. I am Will Pemble, and I will see you soon. Boop.